Hello everyone. This is, this is Gallagher12313. Two, two, and in this video, I am going to review a laptop that I got for my birthday. This is like probably the cheapest laptop you can get. It is <clears throat> the Acer C720 Chromebook. <clears throat> I've gotten this for my birthday in December and I've been meaning to do a review on it for a while. So it's a very light computer, <clears throat> probably weighs about 2 pounds, and it's an 11 inch screen, so it's not the biggest screen in the world. And it runs the Chrome OS operating system, which is a very basic OS, and you may have heard me fumbling around with it if you've seen my other Chromebook video where I was at Best Buy. Which is where I first saw a Chromebook and wanted one since that video. So let's take you on a tour of the Acer C720. So it's currently closed, and on the left we have the power yes, power jack, something that feels not totally like a USB, I can't tell what it is. We have a USB and headphone jack. On the right, you feel this other cord, I don't know, USB and SD card slot. So now, when you open it, you just get your standard keyboard. Now you'll notice something. <clears throat> I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to shut it down because I want to give a better tour of the keypad. And it's going to boot up when it opens. But we'll just shut it right back down. Thirty six percent volume slider. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off by pressing and holding power. There we go. It's off already. <clears throat> so you can see you've got your keyboard. Now the function keys are a bit different on a Chromebook. I don't think they call them F1, F2, F3. But I know F... I don't know. I, I don't know all of them. Yeah, it looks like there are 10 function keys instead of 12. Yeah, because there's no, it only has F1 through F10. And then you have everything else is standard. You know, you have your accent and your 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, dash, you know, whatever, backspace. All your standard stuff. The only real difference is that on this one anyway, there is no caps lock. The key that would be the caps lock key is the search key. Okay. Well, I'm sure you're bored with the descriptions, so let's fire it up. Now, wait until you see how quick this boots up. If you've seen my MacBook Air video, which is, of course, my good primary computer, which I have right here. You know, I said that computer boots up very quick. Now, that still boots up fast, but check this out. This is going to be faster than the MacBook Air, which really surprised me. Okay, so I'm going to press power now. The boot press started. Chrome. It says Chrome or whatever. And now it's ready for my password. Chromevox spoken feedback is ready. So I'll start keying it in. Dot, 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 dot. And hit enter. Alert signing in. Now it's Chrome's opening. 
to the last thing I was on. This is the new Which is the Just Five J five ten. Search button. There. So as you can see, now we're ready to surf the web. That is extremely fast. Now let me see if I can slow down Chromebox for you guys. Hold on. 52% volume slot rate 25%, rate 27%. Rate 9, rate 7, rate 15%. Okay, there we go. Now, I have an enhanced quality voice that I got for the web store. But the voice you heard saying the dot at the beginning was the irregular. So now I have two tabs open. I have my YouTube up and... Plus Cullen Apps 01 Red Notifications Share Cullen Galaxy. And my Gmail. Search button. Well, that seems so slow because I'm not used to that. Okay. So, we can do a lot with this little computer. I will go to a few websites just to show you how quickly they load. Google Chrome HTTP. So I, press, I hit Control L, and I'm going to type in Amazon. M -M -A -Z -O -N dot com slash access. Com slash m slash access access deleted m m slash access access deleted search button and now we're on it Amazon.com online shopping for electronics apparel computers books DV and more a different version of this website containing similar content optimized for screen readers and mobile devices may be found at the web address www.amazon.com slash access link. So that is just so quick and easy. You know, and it does have a little menu, but the weird thing is you seem to have to disable Chromebox to get into it. So I'll do that by pressing control alt z and pressing the search key chrome vox poke and feedback is ready and now when i down chrome store google search button youtube button google play movie youtube google drive google maps google calendar gmail button google docs button google sheets button google slides button google plus button get help button Google Plus, Chrome Remote, Google Keep, Google Drive, Google Maps, Button, Google Drive, Button. So we'll just select Google Drive, and it opens up in a new tab. My Drive, Google Drive, the Files and Folders list. Use the up and, up down, and down, Tech, Described, Tech Talk Archives, Folder, Owned by Me, Two of Three, Untitled, Document, Document, Tech Talk Archives, Folder, Owned by Me, Described movies, tech talk archives, exited oh, the files and folders list. Use TTTT January 20th 14 Dean Martino Windows 81.mp3 audio owned by me. Three of six loading so. ellipsis. TTTT January 20th 14 Dean Martino Windows 81.mp3 audio so exited the files and folders list. Use the up and down arrows to net. Now this thing is pretty much cloud-based. That's all you can really do. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The date is Monday, January 20, uh, 2014. And of course, okay. it's Martin Luther King Day in commemoration. Of Inbox 5. Okay. So that's pretty much the Chromebook. We'll just show you what's in that little start menu. Chrome, Chrome, button, store, button. Chrome, store. Google search button. Google search. YouTube button. YouTube. Google drive button. Google drive. Google maps button. Go Google maps. Google calendar button. Google calendar. Gmail button. Google Docs button. So all your standard stuff. Google Docs. Google Sheets button. Google Sheets. Google Slides button. Google Slides. Google Plus button. Google Plus. Get Help button. Google Plus Photos button. Chrome Remote. Google Keep button. Google Drive. Google Maps. Google Calendar. Google Sheets button. Google Doc Hangouts Call button. Hangouts. 
files button. That's files is like your <clears throat> your file manager, which this computer only has sixteen gigs of memory. Which which is plenty. Sixteen gigs of storage. And I think it's two gigs of RAM. Which is plenty. Google Play Files button. Google Play Music button. Google Play Books button. Get help. Google Plus Phone. Chrome ah. Games button. Google Play Movies. YouTube button. Go Google Plus button. Google Play Books button. Google Play Files button. Hangouts call button. Google Google Get help button. Google Plus Photo. Chrome Remote Death. Google Keep button. Google Play Movies. YouTube button. So yeah, it's pretty standard. Google Drive button. A different version of... Okay, so now I'll show you how easy it is to shut down. So I'm going to press and hold the power key for a few seconds. And now we're back on like the sign-in screen. And then we just press power again. And it's off. So that's the Chromebook. At least the Acer model, anyway. As you can probably see, it's a real nice machine. And it's basic. You know, you're not going to be able to run Microsoft Word or anything like that. Or JAWS or something. But this is perfect. And it costs about 200 bucks. So you can do a lot. And today, the day I'm recording this, which is... April 24th, I haven't even turned on my Mac yet today. I've been messing around with this so much. Okay, well, I hope you found this useful. And if there are any features you want me to go into more, like browsing the web with the Chromebook, which I plan to do anyway, but, you know, if I see a request for it, I'll do it quicker. Then just let me know. Okay, Gallagher123123, signing off.